Long Island's COVID positivity rate remains among the state's highest. Residents say they're fed up with a lack of vaccine supply and they're demanding streamlined websites to book appointments. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports on the confusion. Was it a pain in the tail? Yeah. 81 year old Alice Sheehan of Bohemia had a vaccination appointment but was turned away after a 45 mile drive to New York City. I was on a list. The confirmation number was there, my name was there. But her zip code was not part of the five boroughs. Some lawmakers here are crying foul because Long Island accepts qualifying New York City residents. And if you look at the vaccine to resident ratio, which is a percentage, of course, New York City is getting a larger ratio of the vaccine. And Long Island's positivity rate is the state's highest. Long Island has been problematic for a period of time. There are demands for more sites. New York City's web has 200 plus locations for appointments. Suffolk merely directs to the state run websites. Nassau lists county, Northwell, and pharmacy links. Confusing and frustrating? New efforts to streamline. We want to make sure that we have links to them, that we get, we have links to every new place that pops up that's doing vaccine so we can be a one-stop shop. LIU Post in Brookville is the newest pod expansion. We're here, we're ready to rock, we're ready to roll. It is simple supply and demand on a mega scale. Walgreens, CVS and independent pharmacies say they are confident they can inoculate thousands of Long Islanders in the coming week. Thomas D'Angelo is president of New York State Pharmacists Society. Local pharmacies are the most accessible health care provider. People can walk in, make their appointment, come back and get their vaccine, which is what we're doing here. Long Island pharmacies, hospitals, clinics, health departments, state sites like Jones Beach and daily pop-ups are waiting for supply. Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.